Alright guys, how's it going? So I was having a conversation on Discord today, just talking about add-ons and Blender, you know, the usual banter. And the subject of box cutter came up. Now I'm a big advocate for box cutter, it's a great application, in fact it's the best thing since sliced bread, pardon the pun. So I recommended this to a user, and to cut a long story short, he basically says look, I don't have the funds at the moment, I can't afford it, is there an alternative? And the answer to that is, this is Blender. Of course there's an alternative. And this actually comes in built with Blender, and it's called the Carver tool. It's been around for quite a while now, so you good chance you might have seen it. So if you go to Edit, go to Preferences, jump into your add-ons, search for Carver. Now you can see here, that has documentation. Check that out. And it also gives you the keyboard shortcut keys. Now, my keyboard kind of conflicts, so I'll just use the UI. But the main one we're looking for is Control Shift and X. So we'll spin the default cube of mystery. We'll select the cube and I'll press Control Shift and X. So just as a workflow tip, you generally won't work in perspective view. You're working orthographic. So numpad one, three, seven, nine, and five, for example. So I quickly jump into front orthographic view, and you can see the UI here. Difference. Now think of difference as subtract. You can see the cut type. I'm on a rectangle. So if I left click, I'll draw out a rectangle, and we get this. How cool is this? Now don't think of this as a box cutter replacement or a substitute. Two totally different applications, and to be honest, I actually quite like the simplicity of this application. Now, let's say I draw a rectangle, and I'm not happy with the position. If I press the Alt key, I can move this around, kind of like Photoshop in that manner. So let's drop it here. That is the basic rectangle tool. If I press spacebar, that cycles through the tools. So we'll take a look at the line tool, let's zoom in a little bit. Left click to draw, I'm going to draw something a little bit janky here. Now this could be my keyboard shortcuts, but I need to press spacebar to commit the cut. We get something like that, that's the line tool. And let's take a look at the circle tool and guess what this is going to do. It makes a circle, surprise surprise. Now. You'll notice one thing, it says subdivision, and look at the faces here, it's very low. So I'm going to press X to put the subdivision right up. I'm going to make another cut here. And look at the smooth difference between the two different cuts. So you can actually increase and decrease the subdivision. And if you're actually on circle, for example, if you decrease it down to something like 8, you end up with a different shape. Pretty cool, to be honest. Now, you may have noticed another thing here. Apply Operations. Now I'm going to drop the tool by pressing my right mouse button. I'm going to go into the modifier. I'm going to press Control shift to enable the tool again. Straighten up a bit. And I'm going to disable Apply Operations. And this is the Q shortcut key. Now watch the modifier stack now. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle. You can see that it now applies a modifier. So we went from a destructive workflow to a non-destructive workflow. And if I actually drop this down, I can select this object and I can control the boolean. Pretty damn epic if I do say so myself. I'll so I'll select the main object, control, shift and X again. I'll enable apply operations back on, we'll work in a destructive workflow. And you can see here, cursor depth. Now this is a 3D cursor. So if you press shift and right click, you can move the 3D cursor. What I'm going to do is select the object again. I'm going to put the cursor depth on by pressing D. And this time when I make a rectangle cut, it only cut to the depth of the 3D cursor. So it can be a nice way to kind of accurately cut things. So that's the basic cutting tools. But if I hold down shift, you can see it changes to rebuild. So I'm just going to do a quick rectangle. You can see that I have a different color, which is orange. And that just makes a nice cut in the mesh. And this is great for doing panels and things like this. And it actually separates them into its own object. So I can actually select this as an object. Pretty cool. So control shift and X. I'll bring H to bring up the help menu, and you can see all the different kind of options. You have create geometry, that's another thing, you can actually create geometry, so if you have nothing selected, you can start off. And you also have a profile brush. Now, I don't honestly know about it, so I don't want to teach you about it, but there is documentations, and that pretty much is the basics of the card tool. I don't want to go into too much detail, to be honest, I would rather you played around with it. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, cost you nothing. Follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Peace.